Hello, in this video, I'll be showing how you can install Spark OCR in your local machine. So, as you can see, I'm using Ubuntu version of 18.04, and I've created a Python virtual environment for this specific tutorial, which I recommend you to do so. So, and after that, I'm activating it by just typing this line of code. And let's start with installing some of the required libraries. The first thing I'm going with PySpark. I forgot to mention during the video, but your Java version matters. So you need to check your Java version by typing this command. If you enter it, it's going to ask you. Uh, so I'm in my Python version environment and I've typed this code and here is what I get. And in here you can pick your Java version as default. Apparently I'm using Java 8, but um, keep in mind that if you're using Java 11, Spark OCR is not compatible with that. Please use Java 8. Just typing the index number of 2 in here and entering it, you're going to use it. You're going to use Java 8 as default. If you don't have Java 8 in your system, please type this code, sudo apt get installed and Java 8, and then you enter it. It's going to be installed so that you can run this code, you can run this command again, and you can check the Java version and pick it. And after that, I am going to install Spark NLP. Additionally, I am installing Jupyter Notebook. So let's start our notebook. I'm going to copy this. I already ha have created uh, a notebook and I'm just going to click this one. But if you don't have one, you can just come here new and you can create a new notebook. So let's get into this. Let me run and after that I'll do the explanation. So first thing. I'm going to I'm going to read the JSON file or the TXT file that has all the required keys for starting a session. So you can obtain this by applying for a trial version throughout our website and as you can see johnsonolabs.com there's the free trial section when you click it there are three options one is for Spark NLP community and you can get it for free. And Spark NLP for healthcare as well as Spark OCR. So the focus of this video is definitely going to be Spark OCR. So by clicking here, try free, you can get a serial key and you can use that key for starting your session, so which I'm exactly doing in here. I'm defining environmental variables. I'm just defining that to my path. And after that, I'm just installing Spark OCR um, by using those keys as well as I'm starting my session. So uh, I want to check the session after it started. So by using VGET from our GitHub repo, you can install sample PDF. You can install a, you can download a sample PDF, which I've already done. And um, after that, we can define our NLP pipeline and OCR pipeline. In this tutorial, I'll be using um, NLP pipeline as well as OCR pipeline on top of it. So first thing I'm, I'm going to read the text with OCR and after that I'll just put it into a NLP pipeline so that we can extract some of the useful key values, like keys, embeddings, the identification, NER model, the chunk merger and so on. So When this is done, I'll continue running with them, running by them. So all of these models are obtained throughout our website. And if you come to um, models, modelsop.jonesonlabs.com, there's a, there's a model section. And you come here, as you can see, there are like so many available models for translation, question answering, language detection, spell check, assertion status, and so on. So let's click one of them. 
and as you can see, you can see it's, it is showing you how you can import it for what are required pipe, like what are the required functions to, to define this pipeline, the versions, the language, the benchmark score, as well as live demo. When you click it, you can just get many of them. For example, when, you, when you're using any RDL model, you can obtain these any chunks. The entity labels are visible in here and right the bird version is also here you can please check that check our website out i'm sure you're going to find many relevant and useful information so yeah i think yeah i've run these two cells and it, it already installed i mean it, it has installed the pre-trained models from our server now i can just read the PDF, what I'm doing. I'm just gonna read the, the PDF in here. Is a Spark format, after that, I'm just feeding it to the pipeline that I've defined above. And I'm gonna get the extracted text when I define the pipeline. So, this might take a while. I mean, this speed depends on your the quality of your PDF, for example, if you're using um, the size of uh, like a high size of a PDF, it, of course, it's going to take more time. And also, it depends on your pipeline, for example, the, the variables in here, the, the parameters in here. And after that, I'm going to print out the text, the extract text. But yeah, it's running. Also, your RAM speed affects of this process, so it is affecting. I believe it's almost done. And after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to print some useful information, for example, in your chunk result as well as in your chunk metadata. Yeah, when I print this, this is the this is the result of this PDF. Yeah, and after that, I'm just printing out in your chunk the entity. And I hope this video is useful for you. If you have any questions, please send us an email or put this post a question in our Slack channel. We are here to help. Good luck.